everybody! I am here today to tell you how to make clothes shrink. This will be an easy tutorial for making clothes shrink on purpose. Let's get right into the video. You've probably all been there, including myself. You take a shirt out and you put it on and it's way too small. And sometimes you don't want that to happen. In fact, most of the time you don't want that to happen, but sometimes you really need it to happen. If you have a shirt that's been stretched or that's too big, then you might want to shrink it on purpose. And if that's the case for you, then this is the video for you. So first and foremost, you want to make sure that you want to shrink the clothing and you want to figure out how much you need to shrink it. Do you need to shrink it by a lot or a little? Okay, so figure that out. Do you really want to shrink it? Do you want to take, take a chance with it? Because you are risking it. You are risking ruining it potentially or shrinking it too much. So are you willing to chance it? And how much do you want to shrink it? The second thing is read the label on the clothing. The label is going to tell you a few things. Number one, it's going to tell you if it's pre-shrunk. Believe it or not, a lot of clothing is pre-shrunk. And if it's pre-shrunk and it didn't stretch, then you're wasting your time because you're not going to be able to shrink it much more. But if it's not pre-shrunk, which is most clothing, then you should be okay. And look at the type of fabric or material that it's made of. Okay, Wool is going to shrink differently than something like silk or cotton. So with that being said, you want to look at the material that the clothing is made of and then do some research to find out how well that shrinks and how quickly that shrinks. Once you've discovered the material that it's made of and made sure that you can shrink it and that it's not pre-shrunk, then you essentially want to use heat to shrink it. Okay, So here's how it works. You want to wet the clothing. So you can put it through a wash cycle or you can just dampen it with some water. But essentially you want to wet the clothing. When you wet the clothing, you're getting water inside of the material. And then you need to use heat to shrink it. So you can put it in the dryer, but make sure that you can put it in the dryer by checking the label. Because if the dryer, if you can't put your clothing in the dryer and you do it, it can fade your clothing, it can ruin the effect of, of uh, if there's an image on it. There's lots of things that negative that can happen, so make sure you can even put it in the dryer first. But if you're sure or pretty sure that you can put it in the dryer, then go ahead and I recommend that you put it in slowly. Don't just put it for 60 minutes and walk away because you might come out with a shirt that's like this, okay? You need to put it in the dryer for, you know, I'd say like 10 minutes at a time. You put it in for 10 minutes, you take it out, you see how much it's shrunk. Another 10 minutes, your clothing doesn't have to actually get dried in the dryer. You're just using heat to shrink it. So with that being said, put it in for 10 minute intervals and continue taking it out and seeing, um, seeing if it's shrunken or not. Another option, if you can't put the piece of clothing in the dryer is you can iron the piece of clothing. When you iron it, it's gonna have a very similar effect. Um, you're going to basically cause the fabric to shrink because you're applying heat. And another option if drying or ironing won't work, if the dryer or ironing doesn't work, is to use a steamer. You can use a steamer to shrink clothing as well. You essentially wanna use heat um, to shrink that clothing. Lastly, if you can't use any of those options, if they're not viable for you, then you can always leave your clothing out in the sun. So if you have a, 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 some something that you can rest your clothing on out in the sun, if you leave it out in the sun and it's a nice hot day, then you're likely gonna experience some shrinkage from the sun. Your clothing will experience the shrinkage as well. Um, so just to clarify, the heat is what will shrink it, but all of that research that you do beforehand will help you get ready to shrink it properly and effectively so you don't end up with a shirt that's too small or one that's ruined, okay? So keep that in mind. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.